Uh, moving on, time for a trend check. From being a traditionally touch and feel activity, property buying is rapidly moving on to the virtual space. Leading developers are now expecting a large part of their sales to happen online and are going all out to maximize their returns. What is driving this trend and can online property buying actually take off in India? Nikhil Sivdas joins us with this story. Think property on the internet and chances are that you're thinking of browsing through listings and comparing prices before heading out to a brick and mortar stall to make the actual purchase. In that sense, developers and consumers alike have so far seen the internet as nothing more than a fancy showcase. But that scenario seems to be changing with consumers increasingly choosing to buy properties online. If you do enable them to, to look at uh, a platform like online where they have a huge confidence with the brand and a trust with the brand they are willing to uh, to look at uh, online as a platform so what kind of a response are we talking about well tata housing claims to have sold over 400000 square feet of 450 apartments online in the past 3 months with a sales value of over 350 crores they claim that online sales now contribute to over 20% of their overall sales and expected to reach 30% in the next couple of years. Tata Housing is not the only developer to experience this. Godrej Properties too has seen a sharp uptick in the number of online bookings for its projects. We are very excited about the online space and which is rapidly growing and we are virtually doubling our sales year after year. Currently as I speak from low single digits we are now close to 14% of sales coming in from the online medium. Experts credit the sharp rise in online purchases to the incentives being given by the developers. Typically developers draw customers in by allowing them to book houses at extremely low booking amounts. The idea being that this first step encourages customers to remain within the system and eventually complete the entire transaction online. Once they take the decision to buy, we have made them easier to buy through, through low uh, value transaction in the first instance. And thereafter we can, we can go offline to get their payments for the rest of the installments or booking procedure. A key component driving developers to focus on online sales is also the desire to cater to NRIs. Godrej Properties, for instance, claims that the majority of its online sales come from NRIs. I think 80-85% of that sales, yes, is from the online platform. And these 25 million NRIs, if you will, have sent in over $70 billion of inward remittances. So I think this is a very powerful and, and a exciting opportunity for, uh, for real estate marketers to tap onto. So does this mean that buying property online will be the wave of the future? Not just yet. Experts say that there are still significant kinks that need to be taken care of. Online platform is much more dependent upon the kind of uh, camping you're building it. The camping is not just limited to how, how you're attracting a customer, but it's more related to basically your secure system of you know booking, taking the booking amount, how you're basically offering the inventory online. While those get worked out, there is no denying the one advantage that leading developers like Tata and Godrej possess, their brand name. Experts say that if online property buying does take off, then corporate brands with a long history of customer service and brand recognition stand to gain the most. From Mumbai, Nikhil Shivdas, NDTV. Time for a small break here. Stay tuned for our short list of good dance.